onto the guided practice. We're looking at angle 8 and angle 6 being congruent. Why are they congruent? Because they're corresponding angles. Next one, we're looking at angle 8 and angle 4 being congruent. Why are they congruent? There are alternate interior angles. Next one, we're looking at angle 2 and angle 6 being congruent. Why are they congruent? These are alternate interior angles. What should I put for the last one? Yeah, alternate exterior angles. So make sure you adjust that. And the next one, angle 2 and angle 3, add up to 180 degrees. Mm -hmm, those are same side interior angles the only one that's supplementary. Make sure you are typing out the whole word or using the appropriate abbreviations that we used in the notes. Next one, determine which lines, if any, are parallel using the given information and justify your answer. So the first one we're looking at, angle 5 and angle 4. So cover up this bottom if it confuses you. These are exterior angles on different sides of the transversal. So these are alternate exterior angles. Our transversal is line M. That means that line A and B are the ones that are parallel. Then we're looking at angle 13 and 15. Cover up line M if it's throwing you off. We have one exterior angle and one interior angle on the same side of the transversal. So these are corresponding angles. Line N is our transversal. Like makes line A and line B the ones that are parallel. Next up, we're looking at angle 5 and angle 10, cover up line B, it's extra information. These are both interior angles on different sides of the transversal. So these are alternate interior angles. They're both on line A, that's our transversal. That means line M and N are the ones that are parallel. And then we're going to look at angle 6 and 11. Now notice, this is using four lines. Everything else that we talked today about today uses three lines. That means that we can't justify it using any of the things we talked about today, alternate interior, alternate exterior, same side interior, or corresponding. So that means that we cannot prove that any lines are parallel on this example. So we put none. Last step, we want to show that the landings are parallel. And what kind of angle pair do we have here? Mm -hmm. We've got alternate interior angles. And what do we know about alternate interior angles? They're congruent, so we can set these equal to each other. And then we're going to subtract 14x from both sides. So 3x plus 9 equals 18. Subtract 9 from both sides. And 3x equals 9. Then we can divide by 3. So x equals 3, which is what we wanted, which means that the landings are parallel.